There are in fact three things which determine how well you attract or connect with customers. The first is what we just covered, sending the right signals with your physical presence, how you move and look. The second is choosing the right attitude. Your attitude is not so much how you look, but how you look at the world. And more than anything else, it's your attitude at the beginning of a task that determines your success or failure. I'm going to repeat that because it's that important. It is your attitude at the beginning of a task that determines your success or failure. Sometimes we forget that just like the clothes we choose to wear each morning, our attitude has to be selected as well. It's in your power to choose an attitude that attracts people or one that repels them. Do you really believe that? Do you honestly believe you can choose your attitude at will? Most people don't. Most people believe that their attitude is the result of the facts of their life. In other words, they live their life and simply react to what happens to them. If their commute was bad, their attitude is anger. If they don't find their work stimulating, their attitude is boredom. If a friend doesn't call them, their attitude is resentment, and on and on. In other words, they allow the events of their life to directly control their emotions, which in turn creates their poor attitudes, which in turn drives their unpleasant behavior, which of course makes everyone around them miserable, and therefore want to avoid them, which then triggers more bad emotions, therefore more bad attitudes towards others, which of course goes on and on and on. Let's play a little game of attitude charades. Here are a few very popular yet very unattractive attitudes. These attitudes repel other people. So see if you can guess what they are. Lovely, aren't they? Have you ever walked into a place of business and been greeted by one of those? Did you notice they didn't need to say a word? In a flash, their body language told you everything. They're alarming. They send signals that say, avoid me at all costs, leave immediately. So let's look at some attitudes which attract customers. That's more like it. In just a few short seconds, their body language told me everything. They are charming. They send signals that say, it's safe to proceed. We're open for business. So, which are you most often? Are you charming or alarming? There are many charming attitudes that attract people, but I happen to believe that those last four are the most useful when it comes to customers. Welcoming, enthusiastic, curious, and resourceful. 